Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Cardwell's Cauldrons here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today, we're bringing about an old deck that we used to do, and uh, after playing on Arena, it's actually quite fun and awesome. And the name is relevant. <laughs> but before we do, go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us. We love you very much for it. The link will be down below. Today, we are going through social distancing. And it's, it's bringing back the Death Touch mechanic uh, deck that we did a while back on uh, Can't Touch This, but with all the new dudes that are rare and have Death Touch. So it's it's still a budget deck, but it's not too crazy. Uh, with that, we'll go into the first guy. We have Foldmere Knight. So one drop, one one Death Touch, but it has Adventure. So you pay three if Profane Insight, instant, draw a card, lose a life. So late game, you can draw a card and play this guy and still upset people on the battlefield. He needs a one one Death Touch. Exactly. Might as well. Next is Chevelle, Bane of Monsters. He is a black and a green for a 1-3 death touch, and at the beginning of your upkeep, if your opponent controls no permanents with bounty counters on them, put a bounty counter on target creature or planeswalker opponent controls. Yeah. Then when a permanent your opponent controls with a bounty counter dies, you gain three life and you draw a card. So easily you just put out bounty counters and then they either choose not to attack with that dude or not to block with that dude because your death touch dudes will kill it. Yeah. Exactly. And you get free life and free cards. And since all dudes are death touch, they have to... <clears throat> that's the fun thing about playing this deck is that they kill like one or two of your dudes and you then you're like, oh no, I'm screwed because they have a 17, 17, a Johnny's Pride Mate or whatever. And then you're like, oh, I have this one one death touch. Yeah. So great. enjoy that. But yeah, uh, with him, you, sadly, I misread him the first time I played him is that he can only have one bounty counter out. So you can't just be like bounty, 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 just on one dude. But until then, you just kill him. And get get all that stuff. Now, a classic, another two. I need another two drop in the deck, so Orzhov Enforcer. It's a one two death touch, and then it has Afterlife with a one. And if you don't remember what that is, when it dies, you have a one one flyer afterwards. So, you know, he has dual purpose for sure. Uh, next is the Hooded Blight Fang. It is a black and two for a one four snake. It's they got death touch. Whenever a creature you control with death touch attacks, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Yeah. And whenever a creature you control with that touch does damage to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker. So this dude's actually really strong for this deck. He's kind of like a lord for it. Yeah. Because he makes all your dudes deal extra damage and you gain life. And then he can planeswalker death touch. Exactly. That's pretty good. So it's amazing because, you know, you try swinging the planeswalkers, they block. This time, do they want to lose all their creatures and try to lose a planeswalker there at the same time? So yeah, he's the cornerstone of the deck and he's really ramped up the power of it for sure. Next one is Leyline Prowler. He's one of the Geektopia's favorite dudes. It's one black and a green. He's a 2-3, death touch, lifelink, and you tap to add a mana of any color, which is amazing. This guy's good. Yeah, dude's this, awesome. This guy is really powerful. Uh, next is Murderous Rider. He's two black and one for a 2-3 with lifelink, and whenever he dies, you put it on the bottom of the owner's deck. Um, and then he's got Swift in as an adventure, which is two black and one. It's an instant, and it, Destroy target creature or planeswalker, you gain two, you lose two life. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't really have death touch on the creature side, but it kills a dude, which is essentially what you want it to do. Yeah, exactly. It kills a planeswalker, and that's what you really need most nowadays. Yeah. Something easy, simple, kill that dude. Thanks. Uh, or uh, the Otran Assassin, or Okran, or Otran, either one, whatever it's a hard or soft C, H. It's one in a black and a green. So one one death touch, but all creatures able to block uh, the assassin do so. So if they're just holding back and keeping their important creatures down, you plop this down and swing, and they have to block with it. And hooray for that! Yeah, anything that lures like this is really good because it it takes all the damage or it takes all your all their dudes out of the way. Yeah, yeah, and especially if you do a nice little alpha swing, then it works. Yeah, you swing into a planeswalker and there's stuff with the hooded blight thing. Exactly. And you're like, hey, cool, that thing dies now. Uh, next is the Questing Beast. He's two green and two for a 4-4 four, four with Vigilance, Death Touch, and Haste. Uh, he can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less, and if damage will be dealt to by creatures you control, they can't be prevented. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and whenever he deals common damage to an opponent, he does that much damage to a Planeswalker that player controls. So this dude literally does everything you want him to <laughs> yeah, do for four ever. mana, and he just gets you, he gets you there. He's your powerhouse to get you over the top. Exactly. And with the Death Touch Snake, uh, he does combat damage to the Planeswalker, so therefore it will kill the Planeswalker outright. So, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Of course, now we'll get to the spells. Uh, we need Assassin's Trophy, because it's black green and you can want to kill everything, especially enchantments. So instant, destroy target permanent opponent controls. A 
The controller may search the library for a basic link card, put it in the battlefield, and then shuffle their library. Uh, leg game, this is it just really works and it helps you out real real quick. Next up is Eliminate. It is a black and one for an instant. Destroy target creature or planeswalker with convert mana cost three or less, which is really good right now because it kills a lot of the big threats yeah, right now. It really does. And it's cheap and it's small. This one, uh, Find and Finality, it's one of the classics. So Find is a uh, two gold guard in mana, and then with sorcery, you return up to two target creatures from the graveyard to your hand, which it could be simply awesome. Or Finality, if you need to, it's four black and a green. You may put two one one counters on target creature, and then everything else gets oh uh, uh, everything on the board gets minus four minus four. It's sometimes just a quick little board wipe to get through the, the day. Uh, next is Vraska's Swarm's Imminence. It is uh, two and then two Golgari mana. It comes with five loyalty. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals damage to a player or a Planeswalker, put a one one counter on that creature, so she makes all your dudes better. Yep. And then minus two, create a one one Death Touch. Uh, assassin that says whenever this creature does damage to a planeswalker, destroy that walker. So she makes little hooded black flings that are just humans or yeah. assassins, but still, you get free dudes and all your dudes get bigger. Yeah. Seems good. And that's when also they have to decide do I let them get big or do I block and get rid of all my dudes? Because yeah. this is what she does. She puts them in a corner that they don't want to really be in, and she's amazing. Mm -hmm. She just really helps you get there. That, that is the deck. It was a solid little package. Uh, right now we'll go through the land. So we have Castle of Lothwain, which is the black one where you draw cards equal to... Uh, and you take life equal to how many cards are in your hand. Simple as that. Fable Passage. That's great. Uh, we have the basics, of course, is, is a Force and Swamp. And then we have Ogre, Overgrown Tomb, which is the Shocklands. And I'm still sticking to the No Temple rule. <laughs> I, I find it way more better. More awesome. So, uh, with that, uh, uh, stick in next week to see the Arena gameplay. And the deck list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel. And then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.